Guys, sorry I'm about a minute late. Apologize for that. Um, but anyway, great to see you. Happy Friday. And let's get started. So start off shaking up. Actually, start off with a bow. So take one hand. <laughs> that hand represents your power. Take your other hand. That hand represents your wisdom. Cover your power with your wisdom and bow. Awesome, guys. Good to see you. Now, now shake out your hands. Do, 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 do. Shake out your elbows. Do, 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 do. Shake out your shoulders. Do, 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 do. Good. Shake out all three. Good. Are you going to join us, Jonah? Anyway, shake out your hips. Woo. Good. Shake out your knees. Good. Shake out your hips, and your, your hips and your knees. There you go. Nice. Now shake out all of those. Yeah. Awesome. Good. And arm circles backwards. Good. Add a leg circle. Good. And arm circles forwards. Good. And switch legs. Arm circles or circles backwards. Good. And circles forwards. Awesome, guys. And let's do some mirror stuff. So I want you guys to pretend to be my reflection. So whatever I do, you guys reflect right back at me. Boom. 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 Some of you are really good at this. Yeah, faster. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, guys. And some jump jacks. Woo. Good. Some push ups. Yeah. Some sit ups. You can do it, Jonah. Good. And stand up and run it in place. Running like you're being chased by a butterfly. Oh no, it's a butterfly. Ah, faster! Don't let the butterfly catch you! Ah, it's a very fast butterfly! Ah. Awesome, guys. Good job. Hopefully, you're pretty warmed up now. And let's get right into it. So, high rising heel kicks. Leg comes up and down. Switch your feet. Other leg comes up and down. Switch your feet. And just alternate sides back and forth. Good, keep those switches going. Nice. And now, inside, outside swing kick. So your leg makes a circle to the inside, and your leg makes a circle to the outside. Good, switch feet, inside, outside. Good, try and keep your hands up while you do it. Good. This is an awesome kick um, because it, it makes you more flexible, stronger, all those things. But also, eventually, it teaches you how to do kicks like that, which are a lot of fun. So good job with that. Next of all, we have our front snap kicks. So right leg back, jumbe. Hey, good. And snap kick, switch your feet. Front snap kick, switch your feet. Good. You guys are good, getting really good at this one. Great job keeping your hands up, Stella. That looks awesome. Welcome, Sarah. Good to see you. Boom. We're just doing alternating front snap kicks. Boom. Boom. Good. And crane stance, Jumbe. Hey. Good. Open crane. 
cross crane, 45 degree crane, two, pop watch chain sides, hey. open crane, cross crane, normal crane, flapping crane, good, and pop watch chain sides, hey. good, and hey. and switch, 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 right there back to me, hey, awesome. Now this one's fancy, fake front snap kicks. So knee comes up to crane, I'm gonna jump and do a front snap kick with my bottom leg. My top leg is gonna land on the ground. So it's like that. So give that a try, be nice and careful while you do it. Alternating fake front snap kicks. Boom, boom. Good, keep those going. Sure. Sure. Good, and right leg back, Jumbe. <laughs> Jonas, are you reading a book? <laughs> crazy, middle of class, it's crazy. Okay, so here, knee comes up, good. And now we're gonna do a side kick. So I kick the imaginary person beside me with a stomp. I'm like, boom, big stomp, come back and down. Other side comes up and I'm like, big stomp, up, and down and just keep on going one side and the other side one side and the other side back and forth and back and forth awesome guys now grab hold of your belt awesome leg out and then hop to the middle and another leg out and now switch one go do 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 Looking good. And right back to me. Hey. Awesome. As you did great that, our last little bit of side kick is called a gate side kick. So I come up to crane. From here, I turn my body. I'm like, Wah! like I'm opening the gate or something. Then I get ready. I point my butt and my foot and I stomp. Boom. And I come back, take the gate, and I close the gate again. And I step down. And that's how gate side kick works. So Bring your knee up, turn your body to the side, do a side kick, bam, and then turn your body back to the front, and back down. By the way, that's your yellow belt kick, so if you get really good at that, you'll be set for your yellow belt already. So anyway, Lynn, just really good job with those. Those are looking fantastic. Now let's do a few other things really quickly. Get ready, and right leg back, jumbe, hey, good, cross palm blocks, cross palm block. Good. Gala, you can do more powerful blocks than that. Remember, it's about using your whole body. Good, and brush blocks. Good, and reverse brush blocks. Good, and V-stepping. Good, now let's add some blocks. So V-step, reverse brush block. Woo! So just do your best with it. Good, let's talk about how to do this. So get ready, get into your position. We're gonna to step to one side, boom. While you do that, you're gonna push away from you this way. Good. And then we come back to the center. We step one way and we push the other way, boom. We come back, we step the other way and push the other way. Good, so we're always pushing away from the way we're stepping. Good, and our other hand is up. Good. There you go, Annika, that's looking great. Good job. Good, and right leg back, jumbe. Hey, good. Wing cover. Wing cover. Body cover. Good, so body cover, we use our arms like shields around our body. Wing cover, we put our hand up, like we had a funky weird, weird hat or something. Good, and elbow cover. Your elbow comes down like a shield on your side, and you kind of hunch towards it to protect it. Good, other side, elbow cover. Elbow cover, elbow cover, elbow cover, elbow cover, elbow cover. Switching back and forth. Good, and right leg back, Jumbe. Hi, Elliot, you have a wonderful smile, by the way. 
Uh, <laughs> it's really good. It's nice to see you when you're enjoying this. Okay, so now guys, I wanna play a game with you, but I wanna give you guys a choice in the game we're gonna play. So you guys are gonna be able to vote with your thumbs. So make sure I can see your thumbs. The two game options are Beat the Child with Stick and Simon Says. So if you wanna play Simon Says, uh, give me a thumbs up. One, two, three, okay. If you wanna play Beat the Child with Stick, give me a thumbs up. Oh, looks like Simon Says has, a f oh, a couple more thumbs came up. Okay, let's try one more time. Thumbs up if you wanna play Simon Says. One, Two, three, thumbs up, thumbs up if you want to play uh, Beat the Child Stick. One, two, three, four. Okay, that was really close. That was a very close competition. Okay, looks like it's Beat the Child Stick. Prepare yourself for awesomeness. Okay, if I swing at your head, you guys are gonna duck. <sighs> if I swing at your feet, you guys are gonna jump. Oh, wow, Elliot, you jumped so high there and then you paused in the screen, it was awesome. And if I cut down at you, uh, you guys open the door. Remember when you open the door, you're sliding your foot around like that. So get ready. It's time to play Beat the Child with the Stick. Whoosh, duck, jump, duck, jump, jump. Open the door. Open the door. Good, and duck. Duck, duck, duck. Goose, goose, goose. And duck. Jump, duck, jump. Put your book away. <laughs> that time of me, you guys. Duck, open the door. Jump. And duck. And surprise. Open the door. And open the door. Nice. Well played, guys. You guys rocked that. Uh, there's actually an old samurai move, by the way, where you take the sword, you stab it through you, hit the person behind you. It's pretty intense, but you guys still did it, did it well. Okay, so guys, nice work with that. We have a little bit more time for other things, but um, before we get there, uh, let's do the thing. So everyone, butt on the floor. Good. From here, rolling backwards and forwards, doing some rock and rolls, holding your knees. Good. Now back break falls. So remember, slap with your arms, don't let your head touch the ground, and get your butt up into the air. Boom! Keep on going, guys. Nice, good. Side break fall. So now we're gonna be here. One leg is straight, one leg is bent. On the leg that is straight, my hand comes out on this side, and I tip over. Boom! And I land on that side. Good. Try to make sure your arm is straight. You don't want to land on your elbow. So when you do it, make sure your arm is out. If your arm is bent, you can hurt your elbow. So you want to be all the way out like that. Good. And other side. So one leg's straight, other leg up. On side that's straight, you tip over. Good. And switch. And switch. Good. Nice job with that, guys. Okay. Now I think we only have couple minutes left. If you have a stick, I would like you guys to grab a stick. If you don't have a stick, I'd like you guys to grab a spoon <laughs> or, or something that you can use. Pick something that you can use uh, that's safe. Um, it doesn't have to be anything fancy at all. Just something that isn't going to break or hurt you or hurt it. Wow, Annika, that is amazing. <gasps> wow, Elliot, that is also amazing. Good, so try and grab something quick. Uh, if you have it, uh, while we wait for the other people, we're just going to do a figure eight. Good. So just doing a nice, easy figure eight. It takes a bit of practice to get it, but just try and copy me if you don't know it. Nice, Miller. Nice. Looks like you guys are getting pretty ready. Rhea, 
uh, let me know if you're ready. Jonah, I'm going to pretend you're not actually with us right now because you're just reading the book. <laughs> okay, so from here, uh, we're going to do our nine angles. So take your stick, hold it nice and strong. Good. We're going to make an X shape with our sword. So first we cut downwards into the side. Whoosh! Good. Now we turn our sword over, so it's pointing back, and we cut right back up. Ooh, two. Good. So one is down. Whoa. Two is back up. Whoa. Good. One. Two. One. Two. Good. Now three is fancy. Three, we bring our hand down here. Yala, if you don't have a stick, feel free to imagine you're holding a sword while you do it. You can also do it with your imagination. Good. So now you cut up. Three goes this way. Four is down. Good. Three is this way. Up diagonally, four is down. Good. So let's put all those together. So we have one diagonally down. Two is back up. Three, our hand comes down, we cut up. Four, we turn and we cut down. And now five is easy. Five, we stab. Boom. Good. And that's probably a good place to get to. So one, we cut down. Two, we cut back up. Ching. Three, we drop our head and cut up diagonally. And four, we come down. And then five, we stab. We're basically making an X and then stabbing it. Feel free to try it on your own if you want. Or you can try out some other sword moves. Maybe you know some other fancy moves. You want to to try them out? Feel free to. Try and keep your other hand up. Whoa. Whoa. There you go, Jonah. Whoa. Yeah. Good. With time and practice, I'll teach you all nine angles and a few other things. So for class, if you can have a stick, that would be awesome. We're not going to do it every week because it's kind of special. But when we have a chance, I'd love to do some stick with you guys. Boom, nice. Awesome guys, good job. Now, that might be a bit crazy, so we're not gonna do that today. But for now, you can put your weapons away. Awesome, give yourself a big pat on the back. Cool, and honestly, uh, I'm not wearing my watch, but I just take the time. Boom, okay, yeah, we're doing pretty good for time. Okay guys, hmm, hmm, hmm. That's probably a good place. So, Oh, oh no, I forgot the thing. I forgot. Okay, so our last thing is going to be shadow boxing. So this is a chance for you to try out all your moves, right? Uh, so you can, we're going to fight imaginary bad guys. I want you guys to remember your blocks. I want you guys to remember your punches and your kicks. And let's kick some butt. So if you want, we can even imagine that we're a team and we're all getting attacked by ninjas. So let's defend ourselves. If you're ready, right in the back. Chumbe! Awesome. And shadow boxing. Take them out, guys. Remember to block, not just hit. So imagine those shots are coming at you. Maybe you're gonna do some cross palm blocks. Maybe you're gonna do a V step. Good, and Baro. Elliot, that was amazing. That was like a double side jumping side kick. That was awesome. Nice moves, guys. Those look great. Okay, now let's all do mock do. So, find a good place to stand. Good. Hands by your side. Good. And all together. Shoot! Chariot! Kanye! Key. Mokdo Jambi, kneeling down. And Mokdo Shisha. Jonah, see if you can focus with us for another minute, buddy. Spine tall, eyes closed. Breathe. See if you can let your body be still. Notice if you can let your mind be still. Mato Baro, eyes open, standing up. And show. Chariot. Kanye. Key. 
Good. And hands to heart. Wishing me and the rest of our class love and happiness. Namaste. Cool. And to your family and loved ones, wherever they are, I'm wishing them love and happiness. Namaste. Cool, guys. Awesome. Good job. Now, today, in Coach's Corner, I want to talk to you about something that's awesome. I'm going to just move my phone while I do, so don't worry about the things moving. Okay, here we go. Okay. And what I want to talk to you guys about is making mistakes. Because that's something we all do. Um, every one of us is human, I hope. None of you are robots. <laughs> ah! For example, my phone just fell off the ledge. <laughs> so we all make mistakes, and that's just part of being human. And that's totally okay. Um, so what do we do when we make a mistake? I'll give you guys an example. Today, I woke up at 12.50. I was like, I don't teach a class today. I'm going to sleep in. And I was like, oh my goodness, I teach a class today. And I got ready like a lightning bolt. I had a shower. I put in my contacts. I put on my fancy clothes. And I showed up like, I'm here. I made it. But I didn't have my little list done. So a lot of times I have a little piece of paper uh, that I use to keep track of class. And I have my watch on. And I'm, I'm like, I've thought about class for like half an hour already. And I've planned out everything we're going to do. And I'm like, yes, this is awesome. Whoa. And today, I didn't have that. Uh, today, I was just like, oh, my goodness. I'm one minute late. I hope I, hope I can get there in time. Uh, and I did. And it worked out. Um, you know, I like to be a little bit more prepared. Um, but, you know, I did my best considering I had made a mistake. So the first thing we can do is apologize. So let's say I make a mistake and I do something that's, that's wrong. Maybe I hurt someone or break something or, or I don't manage to do one of my responsibilities. I can always apologize. I can say, whoops, I'm sorry. I, that was an accident. I will, I'm sorry for any problems that caused and I will try to do better next time. Another thing we can do is we can think about, well, why did I make the mistake? Was it something silly I was doing? You know, maybe I should write out my schedule at night. Or maybe, uh, let's say, for example, I was dancing around. I was doing a funky dance. And I was like, yeah, dancing, dancing. And then I, like, smashed something with my hand, and it fell over, and it shattered into a thousand pieces, right? Then maybe I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't dance like this near fragile things. So whatever it is, when you make a mistake, it's good to think about why you made this mistake. And that way you can avoid doing it the next time. So the, the idea is that we're all human, but we want to learn from our mistakes so that over time we make less and less of them and we make new mistakes because we're always going to be making new mistakes as we go. Um, better mistakes, preferably, because you learn, you learn the simple things and then you get into kind of new challenges uh, as we get better and better. So that's that. And the last part of this, guys, is also to forgive yourself. Because sometimes we make mistakes. Like years ago, I, um, I was working on a project with my friend Matthew Abel. And we were working together. And I accidentally forgot to put his name on the project. And, and um, I handed it in. And he didn't get any marks for it. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, Matt. And I felt bad about that for years and years and years and years. I honestly still feel so bad about that. I was the best man at his wedding. Like him and I go all the way back to grade two and I still feel bad. So one of the secrets is if you make a mistake, don't be too hard on yourself. You want to apologize. You want to fix it. You want to learn from it. But then you also need to let, love yourself too. Awesome. Great hug, by the way, Miller. That's a really good thing. Giving hugs to ourselves and others is a wonderful way um, of doing things. It's also good for forgiveness too. So, you know, you can give yourself little hugs. You give Instructor Eric hugs. Hi, Instructor Eric. Awesome. Hey, everyone, let's give Instructor Eric a, a distance hug. Take your arms, give him a giant big hug. Whoa, big hug, Instructor Eric. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well, uh, class, good job today. Uh, it was good seeing you. Um, Ellie or Jonah, next time, try not to have your book during class. And if you guys can bring a stick to class next time, that would be awesome, too. Uh, I'll pass it off to you, Instructor Eric. Thank you.